Hello, everybody. In this match, we are playing against Urgot. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think Urgot shall be fun to play? This is a simple question I ask of you. Do you think that Urgot is sort of this champion that may be worth my time to invest into to see if I can sort of learn to play him? Hmm? Do you think that is worth it is what I'm asking? Do you think it is worth me going out of my way to perhaps purchase Urgot? and use him for good yeah. use him a little bit for evil but you know mostly for good ergot cc by the way right there dude yeah it really caught me off guard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i didn't expect it no no and you know why because i you know i'm just not experienced with playing against him but you know what would have happened if i did expect it you know i would have played around it you know I would have been able to remount, and then I would have been able to do the dirty interaction time. Hey everybody, welcome to my Kled interaction guide. In this one, Urgot, you know, you see that interaction a couple seconds ago? Wow, when Urgot ults you while you're mounted and he actually gets it off, you just dismount. You don't actually go down. Good job, everybody. You're really learning here. You're really becoming in your vessel, or whatever that means. Don't know what it means and, you know, don't care what it means, but do care what it means because I really would like to care what it means. I would really like to know what it means. Please do tell me what it means. I do declare it will be the most interesting thing that I've learned all evening. And if not, well then, by golly gosh, that's quite all right, I think. And if it's not, well then, by golly gosh, I guess I'm overextending the fight when perhaps I should not have been mm, yes indeed my friend yes indeed and is that okay certainly but is it not okay yes indeed my friend perhaps both of them are the case but perhaps not there is only one thing to learn here about chasing an ergot man into a brush there's only one thing to learn here about chasing him further even after the case and into a next brush seeing what happens you might just get burned. Uh -huh! Dude, it's a freaking funny joke. You like that, dude? So, their brand is pretty strong, but here's a fun fact about their brand, okay? He ain't strong with me, baby. You know what I'm saying? He ain't strong with me. He did dismount me, though. You know, he did almost get me. He did almost get away. He did almost have cooldowns up there, like if I miss that shotgun shot, like I tend to like to do for some strange reason on Kled. We could have been in a wee bit of a predicament, similar to what I'm in here with the enemy. What's his name? What is it? He's like a jungler, and he's got two forms, and he's got like this massive scythe that he does the dirty with on a day-to-day -day basis. His name is... Uh, of course, I'm just testing you. I, of course, know his name, you know. I'm experienced in League of Legends. Don't worry, okay? I know that his name... Is, it's just, you know, it's in my memory banks. So do I even have to say it to prove that I know it? It's a good question. I think that I don't. But for the fun of it, just to humor the fact that perhaps you might be thinking that I don't know this jungler's name. You know, who's on the enemy team and he's actually really quite fed right now. Just to humor the fact that you think I don't know the name of his champion. I think I might just say it. I might just say his name, you know? But then again, why? Who, who, who am I proving it to? Who, who have I got to prove anything to, you know? So, f that being said, I'm not going to say it, baby. <laughs> I'm not going to say it at all. What's good with it? What's good with it, huh? Yeah, what is good with it? Should we bring back the googly? Okay, we're going to bring back the googly. Okay, League of Legends champions. What do you got? Okay. I'm just looking up, just, you know, to, I'm not looking up the name of this jungler. You think I'm looking up the name of this jungler? What are you thinking? You know, why would I be looking up his name? I already know. Listen, okay, fine. You've broken me down, okay? I'll tell you what his name is, okay? It's Kane. There. I said it. And the reason I can remember it is because it's four letters and it starts with a K. Just like Kled, the champion I'm playing. That's why it makes a whole lot of sense, dude. That's why I would never, ever forget the name of that jungler, okay? His name is Kane. I know it. I've known it for as long as I've been alive, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is, dude. <sighs> and it just makes me sad that you think that I wouldn't know it. It makes me sad that you think, 
I wouldn't know it and then I would just spend the better part of a minute trying to buy time, you know? I'm trying to think of it. it. Makes me sad that you think that I wouldn't have thought of it after that time, so then I would go look it up, you know? And then put all that into the video. And then uh, try to play it off as if, uh, as if I had remembered it the whole time, you know? But you know what? That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with being a mashed potato. Something like that, right? Maybe there is something wrong with it, you know? Like if you're a person, but you're also a mashed potato, one mashed potato, that's... Hmm. In a very literal sense, I mean, that could, I guess, present problems, you know? The amount of employers, for example, that I think hire uh, physical mashed potatoes, like l literally, you mash up some potatoes, or, well, no, you, of course, maybe you heal up, you heat them up and you peel the skin and you, you know, as the spices or whatever, but eventually you mash them up and you put them in a bowl and you try to pass it off as maybe a potato salad. Of course, more mashed up than that. Because, or, you had a lot of butter, that's right. Restaurants, dude. The way that restaurants get mashed potatoes to taste oh so good is that it's literally almost half butter. You know, it, half the volume of it is literally butter. Almost half. And that's crazy to me, you know? But that's okay. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense why something that is literally almost half butter would taste better than the stuff kind of stuff that I've been making at home you know on my own once I learned that it was literally almost half butter I thought to myself you know what dude I get it now I get it then I thought to myself oh you know what dude man hey I get that no I get it because I you know, I was like experimenting with learning accents or whatever but you know 